Christ is black, our people are black, we the Israelites, correct? Now, what's next? How do we get out of these conditions we in? What happened? We know our people's black, right? We the greatest people on earth. Why are we at this lowest state? You lost, you say we lost faith? What you say, sister? We lost what? hope? What you say, brother? Why are we in these conditions? We lost our culture. I'm going to tell you why we in these conditions. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Start at 15. Yes, sir. We're going to show you exactly why we in these conditions and how to get out of these conditions. It's good. Yeah, Christ is black. We're the greatest people on the planet Earth. But not right now, we are the lowest state over here on 71st and Jeffrey. We're in the hood. Right. The lowest of lowest of states we could possibly get. How do we get out? I'm going to show you why we in these conditions. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. This is what Moses is saying to the Israelites in the wilderness. After we left Egypt. All right. Read. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So Moses is saying if we don't listen to God to do his commandments. Correct. Read. And his statutes. Uh-huh. Which I command thee this day. What's going to happen? That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Brothers and sisters, are curses good or bad? bad. Curses are bad. Correct. Curses are judgments from God. Let's get to it. Yeah, curses are judgments. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Read. Curse shall thy be in the city. Look around. Look around in the city. Where are people at? What is it called? The ghetto. That's you correct, right. sister. Everywhere we're at, it's called the ghetto, it's called the hood, it's called the slums. Other nations, where they live at, they don't live like this in these conditions, do they? No. They, right, they live in the suburbs. They, uh, ain't no trash around, ain't no potholes. Nice green grass. White man living good. Arab man living good. The Chinese man living good. Why the black man and the black woman, why are we cursed in the city? What is the first verse I read? What did God say? That we will be cursed if we don't keep his commandments. Right. This is a cursed condition in the city. God said you'll be cursed in the city. Right. And cursed shall thy be in the field. And cursed in the field. Who was that in the cotton fields picking cotton? Us. Us. <laughs> that, that was us, correct? Sugar cane. Tobacco. Look at this sign right there. We getting destroyed. Fast forward today. Look around. The job field. Who's the last hired first fired? The black man and the black woman. They'll, they'll have you train your replacement, which will be a white boy, and then fire you and that white dude to take your spot, won't he? That's right. God said you'll be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Jump to 32. I'm going to go through these key verses to so you, that we identify with the children of Israel. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Listen to what the Bible says. It says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What's that called? Slavery. Slavery. What you say? <laughs> what you say, sister? Slavery. That's what, that's what happened in slavery. Even today, CPS come around. They could take your child. You have no power to get your children back, correct? Right. Correct. Read it again. This is what God is saying. This is the Bible. We can read this in the Bible and look out in the earth and directly see it happen and correlate it with the scriptures. Man. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says thy sons and daughters shall be given to another people. If the slave master wanted your children, he took your kids, correct? Correct. And didn't have no, we had no power to get them back, right? Couldn't do nothing. That's what the Bible is going to say. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fear with longing for them all the day long. You will look and long and mean cry and cry and want your children back. But what? Read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. You had no power to get them back. If the slave master wanted to sell your children and give them away, that's what happened. God said there will be no might in your hand. No military might, no economic might, no political might, no power. You couldn't do nothing. Powerless. Read on. The fruit of thy land uh -huh. and all thy labors shall a nation what thou knowest not uh -huh. eat up. That, that was us. We was out there planting all those crops, correct? Another nation ate those crops up. They gave us slop. They gave the slaves slop food, correct? That happened to us. Exactly. You know those are abominations according to the Bible? You know we're not supposed to be eating pork? 
We're not supposed to be eating shrimp, crab, lobster, none of those things. You know that? You didn't know about shrimp and lobster? We're going to get it out of God's laws. I'm going to show you. Go to Leviticus 11. Hold that. Let's go to Leviticus. Yes, sir. Leviticus 11, I believe, verse 9. We're going to start there. We're going to show you shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, clams, all that, octopus. Those are abominations. Catfish. Catfish is, is an abomination to God. Read that. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. Uh-huh. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now, this is what you can eat that's in the water. He's going to directly tell you what you can and cannot eat. Read. Whatsoever has fins and scales. Hold on. Whatsoever has what? Fins and scales. Y'all hear that? It said what? Fins and what? Fins and scales. Read. In the waters. In the waters. In the sea. Uh-huh. And in the rivers. Uh-huh. Them shall ye eat. Them shall you eat. So you can eat like uh, salmon. You can eat my, my fish. You can eat these things. Why? Because they have fins and scales. That's Does right. catfish have fins and scales? No. It doesn't. It has fins, but it doesn't have scales. It's a bottom feeder. That's right. It's an unclean animal. That's why God said don't eat it. Does a shrimp have fins and scales? Does a lobster have fins and scales? No. You can't eat those things according to God. Read. And all that have not fins and scales. All those things that don't have fins and scales, correct? Read. In the seas uh -huh. and in the rivers. Uh -huh. And of all that move in the waters. Read. Of, and of any living thing which is not in the waters, uh -huh. they shall be an abomination unto you. You know what an abomination is, sister? You say what? What's an abomination? It's a disgusting. That's what God says. That's an abomination. That's disgusting. Exactly. You know that they, they bottom feeders, correct? So what they do is they clean up the feces from the rest of the animals in the ocean. And then, in turn, we eat them. We wonder why we got diseases. We got gout. We got all these high blood pressure. Because we eat these foods that God said don't eat. Don't eat. You understand that, sister? We're not supposed to eat that? All praises. You, if you eat those things, I stop. God says stop. Repent. Eating shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. You see, that's what got us in these conditions. We think it's small, but it's big to the most high. That's right. He gave his laws to one nation of people, and that's us. We got to keep his laws. Or else, this is what's going to happen. Look around. He's going to punish us. Just like you'll punish your children, right? You'll punish your children, right? This is God punishing us for di being disobedient. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.